Good morning, Wildcats. Today is Friday, December 18th, National Ugly Christmas Sweater Day. I'm Lexi Borndran and welcome to WCTZ News. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible with liberty and justice for all. Senior parking passes will be sold on the front parking lot on Saturday, January 2nd from 7 to 11 a.m. Only checks will be accepted and each spot is $30 plus the paint pass. The spots are first come first serve and you must have a pre-purchased spot in order to paint your spot on January 23rd. No parking spaces will be sold on January 23rd. Now to Fast Food Frenzy. Welcome to the eighth episode of Fast Food Frenzy. I'm Jesse Bradman. And I'm Joshua Lopez. For today's episode, we will be reviewing the Sugar Plum Macchiato from Dunkin' Donuts. The Sugar Plum Macchiato is a special festive beverage for winter lovers and sweet lovers all around the world. The Sugar Plum Macchiato consists of blueberry, raspberry, blackberry, and plum, scented by notes of vanilla, along with milk and espresso and sugar. Let's dig in. I cannot espresso how much I enjoy looking at this thing i mean it's just it's so creamy it, and looks so like look at his it looks so uh, good usually when i get macchiatos i'm gonna shake it up but this is purple so i'm gonna give it a little shake now that i'm getting the coffee and the sugar plum this is really good my first sip my initial reaction was this is overly sweet but then i i mixed it with the coffee <laughs> And it's really tasting good right now. Taste-wise, I mean, this is a two out of three stars for me. I just, the, my first like my first sips didn't really mix it that well. I just got straight sugar plum and it was too sweet. And then it mixed with the coffee. And like when they mix, I just got a lot of coffee. It kind of overpowered like the sugar plumness. But it's still, like I would still buy this in the morning. I kind of liked it. I liked the flavor. And price-wise, this was four dollars. Like, oh kind of expensive goodness. for me. And if th I got a medium, I didn't even get a large. Four dollars for this? Uh, uh. Zero stars for price and size for me. Um, for taste, I'm actually gonna give it a one out of three. Um, you know, I enjoy coffee in the morning. I make my own uh, cup of coffee most of the time. And um, to be honest, I'm getting that same kind of flavor I get at home. Not getting that much of that vanilla or fruit flavor that I was really hoping for because I saw in the advertisements that there was like purple and it, like it looked like a cool drink, but unfortunately, it's just it tastes like normal stuff, nothing any nothing crazy. Um, price wise and size wise, I'm gonna agree with you on that one for zero to three. It was so much. I mean, I could have gone a four for four. I mean, at Wendy's, and that's food. This is just a beverage, and that's food. This is just a beverage. That'll do it for today's episode of Fast Food Frenzy. I'm Joshua Lopez. And I'm Jesse Bradman. Thanks for watching, Wildcats. Now to In The Loop. Released November 12th and November 10th, respectively. The brand new PS5 and Xbox Series X are sold out worldwide even over a month later. Since 1994, Sony has produced many variations of their iconic console, with this being the fifth generation of the PlayStation. In the week of their newest release, the PS5 sold an estimated 1.5 million units. Consoles are pretty great. I mean, I'd personally get the PS5 if I were to pick one. It's just got a really nice new sleek look to it. With the new design of the console and the new controller looks really nice. It's just all around really nice looking. Well, since the Xbox, it's literally in the name, it looks like a box, it doesn't look that good. I mean, I, I actually used to be an Xbox owner, and but now I'm thinking about switching to PS5 because it's just so nice looking and they've done so much to make it really cool. The Xbox came to life in 2001. Since then, Microsoft has produced eight different consoles with four different generations. In the week of the newest release, the Xbox has sold an estimated 1.3 million units. I think it will be a new, a better addition to the Xbox 
console community. I think it's pretty swag, actually. Uh, it's new and improved, high tech. I wish I had the money right now so I could be swagged out. I will be asking Santa for an Xbox this year. For all you Epic gamers out there, the consoles have incredibly similar specs, with the main difference coming out of the Xbox more powerful CPU. It has marginally faster clock speeds of 3.8 GHz compared to the PS5's 3.5 GHz. What do you guys like better? The PS5 starts at $399 and the Xbox starts at $499. But right now, the only way you can purchase it if you're willing to pay around $1,000 off sites like eBay through resellers. With WCTZ News, this has been Andrew Caddy, keeping you in the loop. High School SGA will be collecting canned foods and non-perishable food items in third block to donate to Daily Bread. Text this code to 81010 to join the Remind and get alerts from SGA. Thank you for tuning in to another edition of WCTZ News. Stay tuned after the credits for the Alma Matter. This has been Lexi Vorndran. Have a fantastic day, Wildcats.